This video outlines how we develop early number concepts at Bradshaw Hall Primary School. We know that this is enormously important as research shows that early math skills are actually the strongest predictor of later academic achievement. At Bradshaw Hall, we'll help children to move fluently between different mathematical representations. This means giving them a balanced diet of practical maths experiences, encouraging pictorial representations, facilitating talk about numbers, and introducing math symbols. We'll also help them to see the maths in their everyday lives. Children are put in a range of play scenarios where they use numbers and solve practical mathematical problems. We also encourage children to recognise numerals in different real-world contexts and they'll use mark-making strategies to record their thoughts and ideas. In learning to count, children go through several important stages. Firstly, to learn number words, children need lots of exposure to hearing number names in a range of contexts and to hear numbers in songs, in books and in rhymes. They'll start to recognise the number sounds in order and become able to count forwards and backwards. Soon they'll develop one-to-one -one correspondence, the process of touching one object for every number that is counted aloud. Then as children learn to count, they need to know that the last number for the count is the total for the set. They'll learn to arrange objects in a set to make them easier to count, or possibly move the objects that have been counted so each item is only counted once. We'd know that a child had a strong understanding of the cardinal principle if, when a set of already counted objects was rearranged, the child knew that the total for the set hadn't changed. Finally, children will be able to do mental imaging, counting non-physical objects like movements or sounds. We want children to experience numbers in different ways, understand the different meanings that numbers can have, and have a good grasp of the size of numbers. Here's an activity that we might use to encourage that, a number hunt. Have a look at some of the different ways that children might see the number five. On a number line, five objects, in nature, they might be able to show you five jumps or steps. Five might be used as the name for a road or a bus. It's important that children see the different ways that numbers are used. This helps them to be able to calculate, later, in different contexts. Clearly, it's really important that children have these kinds of experiences, both inside and outside of school.